You're under attack from me. Who's protecting himself from you? And you're about to be destroyed. Except you got me on your side. And on my side are discount Amazon self-defense weapons. Because when I think about self-defense, I think of bargains. Good value is where I put my life in. And if I can get a discount on ending someone else's life, you know I'm gonna take that chance. So, what can Amazon offer in terms of self-defense? Well, number one, not guns. Uh, so what about non-lethality? You know, for some people, non-lethal options are going to be the thing they go for instead of lethality. Uh, why? Occasionally, you don't want to maim the person that you're trying to stop from attacking you for one reason or another. You just want to get the equivalent of a harshly worded letter in the palm of your hand and then deliver that immediately to the skull of your attacker. Self-defense is very important. The world's a dangerous place. So what better way to secure your safety then with Amazon. Amazon has come in in every other part of our life. Why not go with this one? So I have here a box, an Amazon box, that I've hopefully rubbed out the address of, but whatever. Oh, it's not. So, where was I? Did I have a sensible intro? The answer is no, but in case I didn't, I'm going to summarize. I bought on Amazon all of the best, best rated and most affordable self-defense items that I could find so that I can tell you what you need to trust your life in because you never know. The world is a dangerous place and you could find yourself in a situation where you had wished you watched this video. And remember, bookmark this video. Don't like it. Don't subscribe, ring the bell. Bookmark it. Put it in your bookmark bar. I know that YouTube Premium has an option to download videos, but forget that. You can't count on that. You gotta keep your count as selfable. Oh, oh. So, you are in a dark alley. You see me coming at you really fast with anger on my face. I don't want to paint this picture because it makes me sound like a maniac that's gonna attack people in a hallway. So forget all of that that I just said and go to camera B. Hi, camera B. This, well, this is nothing right now. This, can you even see that? Is that in frame? This is what is going to be a test dummy because I could not test all these things on myself because number one, that would hurt. And number two, people might mistake me for some kind of a masochist, which isn't true and would be ridiculous for people to think about. And I'm not gonna do that. So I paid a lot of money to buy this dummy that is not assembled. And I think there's some parts in this. People might mistake me for some kind of a masochist. I guess I should have built this beforehand. It goes there. Okay, 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 we're making, okay, so if that goes there, then this goes right there. Oh, 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 oh. oh not yet, monsieur. You wait, you Oh, God, no. Ah, let go. What the hell? Okay, fine. Um, I spent a lot of money on this thing. Uh, Looks like I'm gonna get my money worth out of it, but in a different way. Ah! The name? Steve. Steve, say hi. Help! All right, so this went really poorly right off the bat. I am not joking. I can't get that off. I can't get Steve off. I just can't do it. I have a backup plan, um, but it was really meant for a one-off thing. This is tough guy, inflatable. Well, let me go down on this. <sighs> oh, 
it's just like not letting me blow enough. God damn it! Tough guy! You bitch! Whoa! Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go back to Steve. Cause that's not working. This goes through this too. God damn it. What? Hey, okay, we're going, oh, we're going to this, it's fine. Does this at least go in this? Is this how this goes? This is correct. Wow, that goes down. What? Okay, I guess. Okay, all right, it's fine. It's done. Great. How long have we been doing this now? For this is dead? Why? No. How long has this been dead for? Is you gonna stay record? Why would you turn off randomly? Oh my god. Hey, we ran into some technical difficulties. You don't need to worry about a thing, everything's fine. I'm happy and I'm here to tell you all about self-defense, which is what I talked about before, unless I didn't talk about it. And then it doesn't exist and everything is topsy-turvy. And are we still rolling? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Let's... Focus our frustration and channel it so that it can be outlet in a healthy, productive way. We have many tools with which you can defend yourself. And you know what? I was gonna save it for the end, but you know what? I gotta go firsties. This is a combination self-defense tool. This was gonna be the Big Mama Jamba. You know me, I like to bring out the Big Mama Jamba at the end, but I'm bringing the Big Mama Mama Jamba out at the beginning. I don't know why it's got a, uh, uh, well, it doesn't anymore. It's got a keychain hook. Uh, this, this was supposed to dangle on your keychain, so you got your car keys, and in the end of it, you got this. This is a big old beady bat. I hate this thing. Get off of here. This is a big old beady bat. Beady bat. You can wump it, you can whack it, but in addition to that, it's also a taser. It. Oh, there, my God. It's also a taser. <laughs> so I'm gonna test this out on good old Bob here and to see what kind of pain this is gonna prevent him from doing to me. Oh no, you ain't getting my wallet today. And he's not dead. He's been subdued. This was the most expensive self-defense tool that I found besides just a straight up taser. And I feel like this is innocuous enough that you could hide this down your pants. Not that you'd want to, remember, it's taser. So if you put it down your pants, you're gonna be in trouble. Also, apparently it's a flashlight. It's a flashlight. So, big finish out of the way. I shouldn't drop that. That seems like a bad idea. So we've all calmed down. This is off, when it's on, there's a light. A lot of things I was supposed to talk about. Number one, it's got three switches. You got flashlight mode, which is only half the switch. It's a very fiddly switch. If you go into full on taze mode and then you turn off the flashlight, like, okay, so you confirm who it is. You're like, oh shit, go engage mode. Bah! And then you're, they're gone. I don't know how bad that hurts. I am not gonna test it. Don't play with this, this is not a toy. This video is not about toys. This video is about very important self-defense so you can stay safe out in the real dangerous world with discounts from Amazon. Now the real reason for all of this, literally the only reason that I'm making this video is because I saw a video about this exact product. This is called a tactical whip. And you know that I love tactical anything. And if it's a tactical whip, then I'm very interested in seeing what kind of tactical situations I could utilize this device in. Ah! So. Still
We still recording? Everybody at home should know that I am an absolute professional and you should not try this. There's no reason for you to be playing around with this in your spare time other than preparing for when you know that you're going to need this in a dangerous situation. So this is a tactical whip. It, can, it has a nice little belt clip. It's got a little holdy hand like a Wiimote remote so that when you're whapping or bowling, you don't lose it and break a TV or someone's eye. It was uh, pretty pricey, but this is a nice braided cable covered in a plastic sleeve. Uh, it's a whip, not very long, but you know, frankly, if I had a long, long whip, I might whip myself in my ass. So I'm not gonna try to do that because I like my ass the way it is and I don't need it whipped for any reason whatsoever, period. No further discussion needed, shut up. But let's test this out and see what Steve thinks. Hey Steve, oh, you wanna try round two of my wallet taking business, huh? Well, too bad, bitch, how dare you? Uh, that does look like it hurt. People might mistake me for some kind of a masochist. Oh, that ramps up in pain quick. Ow. Bitch! Ah! Go! Oh, I'm gonna hit myself. Ah! I'm a professional. Ah, professional self defender. Enter the whirlwind of pain. All right, so it, it's basically a whip. It's also got a. Oh, a rubber tip on it. Remove and then use as a eye gouging or if your car is going underwater, break your windows. So I could keep that right there. It's called a stinger because apparently shit stings. Ow, it ramps up real quick in pain. I would rate this in terms of like wappability. I kind of prefer the reliable WAP of a solid stick or baton because it's got a predictable WAP. This has a little bit of unpredictability to it. And if you're in the wild and you're trying to ward off predators or maybe attract a mate, you know, the whip ability might actually be good for you and kind of work in your favor. Whereas this, not only can I see them, I can really see them with the flashlight. I know where the arc is gonna be and I know it's got bonus damage. It's like electrically enchanted weapon that gives bonus electrical damage once I hit them. This is just physical damage and that's good, but there's no like element bonuses. He's probably not got a lot of electrical resistance on him, so he's gonna take the full force of that extra damage. You know what I mean? You get, I think I made my point. So, but there are other ways to go about life and defense. So let's say, for example, you're in the peculiar situation of having too much money and people are coming after you. How do you solve both problems? Well, I'll tell you with a weaponized wallet. Now, this may seem like just a paddle to you, but watch what happens when you fold it up. Oh, shit, it's my wallet. So, when you're in the alley, or in the park, or in your backyard, or wherever you are, when you're getting robbed, and they ask you for your wallet, you go like, oh shit, I'll give you my wallet. My wallet of pain! Now imagine I actually had some change in this. I don't, because I don't carry coins for some reason. Maybe I do. Yes. Imagine these extra parts these spare pieces are my money. And I put my money in the zippable pouch here of my wallet. And then I zip that bad boy up. So I've got a place for my spare change. You can finally think that it's back in the day where most currency exchanges aren't digital anymore and you can have your physical money on you and you can bring the world of pain to whoever wants to try to take it. Oh, Steve, what the hell? Back again, bitch? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get you my wallet. I'll get you right here. Ow, you asshole. Okay, there's a bit of a bounce back problem. Youches. Okay, that hurt a lot and hurt him too, but it's splash damage. Okay, this is compact, so it gets, I'm gonna rank these all in a few categories. We've got ease of use, speed of deployment, pain, and then lethality cost. 
I'm not gonna remember any of those. So I'm gonna make them up as I go on each time. As far as ease of use, very easy. You're holding your WAP, and it's got a bit of weight to it, so it goes back and forth. Cost was cheap, except for the amount of money that you put into it. It's kind of one of those combo things. The more money you put in, the more damage it does. However, there's splash damage. When I hit, it bounces back. Newton's laws are a bitch, and they happen here every time. And I cannot risk getting hit Why this. Ow, it just happened there. Same with the whip, that could hit me too. This one ain't for you. But if you got too much money, then you know what to do with. Maybe you could get a bunch of these and use them as like a grenade and it'll explode. Take this, bitch. I'll get you next time. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know. Personal alarm. Ooh, interesting. Are these charged? No. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So, uh, these, if you didn't know, work. Uh, <laughs> if you pull the pin like a grenade, if you pull the pin, oh, it goes off. And it's very loud. So, ease of use, 10 out of 10. Very easy. Speed of deployment, super quick, very fast. It's very innocuous and comes with a flashlight. And I think it was like a buck, if that. So, not too bad. However, the the fact that it's just a little pull, like this is how much force this takes to pull out. Uh, this isn't illustrating it, but it's not very much. It's, it's like nothing. That could fall out if I spin it. Okay, I was lying. Okay, I'm gonna imagine a situation where I'm like, la da dee, la da dee, what's that? You want my money? Let that be a lesson to you. Next time I want, what'd you say? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Robbery successfully avoided. Easy, 10 out of 10. Uh, uh. The ham accent. Now, if you want, if you think Markiplier lore is complicated, look at this bitch. It's a combination axe, although I don't know what baby ass tree you're gonna be chopping down with this axe blade. This is not exactly what I would call substantial. This is like not substantial. However, if you're trying to self defendize yourself, this is not too bad but not great. Also, where it's additionally beneficial is it's also pliers. So you can ply things as you're chopping, as you're hammering, and it's got various tool tips like a nail file and a saw blade. It's got this Allen wrench thing and a bottle opener. It's got an actual saw, which would probably work better than the ax. It's got a screw tip and a knife. What more could you ask for? Not much, because they fit in everything they could. Usefulness, zero. I can never see a situation where I would prefer to pull this out as opposed to a real knife, a real ax, a real hammer, or a real screwdriver. But imagine yourself in a situation where you need all of those at once. You're faced up against frickin' deck man. He's just a walking deck full of screws, full of nails, full of like bolts and shit made of wood. And you got, you need one thing to take him down. It's like the hypothetical question of how are you going to beat this boss? Goku can't beat this thing. Superman died from it. But you armed with your Cotox, Cotiox, Cotiox, multi-tools. You save the universe. Okay. Watch out Thanos. Anyway, it was like 30 bucks. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't. That's, it's not even a self-defense thing. I just thought it was a cool multi-tool and then I saw it in person and I was like, well, that's pretty lame. Wanna look fashionable and deadly? If looks could kill, looks you can use any of these at our best. Um, that was all I had. This is a knife. Now, this may not seem like much, but imagine that yeah. Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. This is how I die. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Okay. Imagine, the night is young and you're a party animal and fashionable because you got your luscious pink bracelet so that everyone around you knows that you're here for a good time, unless you're here for a bad time, in which case you are prepared to deal out the damage. Uh, da, da, hey, whoa, hey, party time. Hey. Hey, what'd you say to me? Hey, what's up? Oh, whoa, where's, why'd you bring a fist to a, Watch why oh you you want to you want to fight man you want to you want to fight you want you want to oh my god you want to uh, you want to fight bitch ah in your eye ah in your eye oh ah, nose mouth gone oh you want another how'd you get this smile how'd you get these scars oh me that's why I, pff, ah, you're dead pff, you know, you got a metal spine there this isn't very sharp it's actually not cutting much at all but but you're thinking about it. Try me next time, bitch. Try, try you. I hope you learned your your lesson. Hope, hope you. I'm watching you. Okay. So on a on a realistic sense, the knife is tiny. This is supposed to be like survival paracord that you could also use, but I don't see a way to undo the knot, so you just gotta cut it. And I doubt you're gonna cut it with this, because it's not very sharp. It's almost impossible to put on by yourself. I was terrified to take it off by myself. There's just so much ease that it could just cut your wrist. I say uh, this is my first fail of the self-defense circuit. All these could pass, except for maybe this, but I could see a world where Maybe, but the other ones were solid passes, you know, totally acceptable to prevent someone from trying to rob you. Th this, you're gonna hurt yourself way sooner than you hurt them. Not good at all. Um, speed round. This came in like a 10 pack. Why? I don't know. Not dildos, not butt plugs, unless you're gonna Give him a butt full of pain. It's literally a spike. So remember how this whip has this spike on the back and it's also got like a, a nice grip? That's what this is, except instead of being, you know, for breaking windows, this one's also for breaking souls. I'm about to run out of battery, oh God. And I'm back. So this is meant to hang off your keychain, and hopefully you don't fall on it. Falling on your keys before when they're in your pocket, this is gonna be an entirely different world of hurt. But upon successful attack, upon being attacked, you will have rapid deployment devices to go straight for the eyes. Ah, in your eye, bitch. Get Bitch, I, ah, you think I'll come back for it again? I wish you would. I dare you to do it. You would never come back. And he's gone. So it's not exactly like a knife. It's just a sharp point on a piece of metal, which sounds a lot like a knife, but not. But you can rest assured, if this comes at you, that's going to hurt. If someone tries full force on this, on you, it ain't gonna be fun. You going it's gonna go in and you're not gonna have a good time. It was cheap, portable, and pretty dissuasion. But then again, you could also have the tactical whip, which also has the point. However, you there's very little chance of hurting yourself with this, so long as you got a good grip on it and it's got this loop, you could put your thumb through it, but maybe you wouldn't want to do that because it might rip your thumb off for some reason, but I don't think so. But so you got a good grip on it. So long as you're doing a lot of this action, you know, you should be okay. Pretty good. And finally, this bad boy. You wanna combine all the best elements of everything that you had before, all in an innocuous package that no one would know was actually some horribly deadly device? Why not get the tactical pen? Oh yes. The world of tactics does not end with mere whips and shovels. No, no, no. There is such a thing as a tactical pen with flashlight, number one. That's not a bad beam. Not great, but you know, 
You, see, you could see something like in a computer if you were doing that. SOS. And it's also a pen. So you can actually write with it. And in addition to all of that, wait, no, sorry. It starts out as a pen. Wait, I've never used this. I, I might be mistaken. But how do you, what? But if, ah! I feel like, Tactical pen. You get the this, it's the same as the, it, but it's got a pen in it. This sounded a lot more exciting when I saw it on the website. It was quite expensive, um, but now I see it's, it's pretty much the same as it is. Well, no one would suspect that you're gonna sign your contract with that thing. They're gonna think you're gonna attack you, which would make them more reasonable to negotiations. So it's gonna help you in a deal. You always gotta be prepared in whatever situation you have. So, I was going to have the Big Mama Jamba at the end, but, you know, alas, things went a little awry. So unfortunately, I have to say goodbye now. I will be retiring from my review channel. This was the last hurrah. And uh, it's with a heavy heart that I have to say I lied to you because it's not over yet and it never will be. What is this? You got this thing. Uh, it's like a hex thing, but for some reason people said it was a self-defense thing. And I think it's because you hold it like, like, like this and like, like, you know, just you. It's like a brass knuckle, but most of your knuckles are hitting. I think it might just be a tool. One last thing. This might be the greatest of all, and I'm not joking about that. Um, this is what you've probably seen many, like, videos about of people accidentally hurting themselves with this, and I do not plan on adding myself to the list. This is... A collapsible staff. How do you do it? How do you do it? There's no instructions. How do you do it? Oh God, I've seen people, <laughs> I've seen this blast people's eyes many times. There's like a pin that looks like a grenade here. It's all sparkly, which I think is kind of counter to the point, but maybe it'll dazzle them in the eye before they get swapped in the, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I'm so scared. What do you do? <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be double ended? It's, it's a collapsible bulk. Wasn't this the thing that was double ended? Did I break it somehow? Did I? As far as like a staff goes though, that's pretty impressive for what just seems like wrapped like thin metal. Oh, but it's bending. Okay. Never mind. It's Okay. It just goes to show that when it comes to your self-defense, spare no expense. This thing was cheap. A lot of these things I got at a discount. Probably don't buy the things that are at a discount. It turns out the thing that was rather pricey, I think at around a hundred bucks, is probably the thing I would want on my side if I had to dissuade someone from attacking me. So anyway, stay safe out there. I hope this was very informative and helpful for you. If it wasn't, then I've defeated the purpose of me being a review channel. All that nonsense I was saying about this video being the last of my reviews was a lie. I never lie, except for that moment. So you can rest assured that everything that I say is either the truth or one lie. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments below and leave a like. Why? Because it probably does something and nobody really knows. And when it comes to your self-defense, not really what Amazon's known for.